I'm going to show you my 3D printed rocket called Pluto 75. It's a 75 millimeter minimum diameter rocket that takes a 75 millimeter one grain and two grain motors, which are in the uh, K and L uh, power levels. So this is the rocket. It's hard to see without me turning it around for you. So here's the front end. It's all 3D printed with six parts, six major parts, and there's the motor in the rear, and the tail section. So I'm going to do a, a tear down of all the different parts. So let's start off with the the um, the tail section. So the tail section is actually two parts. Uh, the tail part, and then you can see a seam here, and then the upper part. Uh, all the 1515 rail uh, rails are all 3D printed directly on the rocket. The, the fins are nicely chamfered and very aerodynamic. The, the fillets are enormous as far and perfectly smooth. And the rocket motor is retained by this rod here screw rod that screws in and out. So if I were to unscrew this, the motor, the motor will come out. Draw rod comes out and the motor comes out. And inside is a cardboard liner to insulate the motor from the plastic. So that's the tail section. Um, now I'll, ju I'll jump to the nose section, which contains one of the two electronic bays. So this is all, of course, 3D printed. And the electronic bay cartridge is 3D printed. This is designed so I can use it in all my rockets. It's all standardized for me. So this unscrews and Inside, I have this one here. I have a T3 telemetry transmitter with its stub antenna and a lithium polymer battery on this side here. There's a space here for an altimeter, and I'll show you that right now. This is the second version of it, and it's got both the altimeter and the tracking telemetry transmitter, and of course, it's LiPo battery. So in the case of my rocket I'm showing you right now, I have two eBay's and the altimeter is in the other eBay because I have dual deployment and so I don't need the altimeter here. And, um, and, in, and here you can see a, the threaded hole and then there's a, there's a 3D printed uh, open area that keeps the antenna away from the plastic as much as possible. All right, so that's the nose cone. Now the body is actually made up of two body tubes with the eBay in red here in the middle. All this screws together. So for example, I can take this body tube off, I just unscrew it like this. And then you can see inside there's threads inside the body tube. The body tube also has the holes for venting here as well as for shear pins that go here. And the other tube is identical to this, the other yellow tube. And then this is the electronic base. Like let's, let's, take, let's take this other tube off. Okay, so this is the electronic bay. It's actually only two parts. The red part is essentially the, the, the bay itself, and then the white part is the cartridge that screws in. Um, it's designed for du dual deployment, so there's um, a little uh, canister here, one of those centrifugal canisters that holds two grams of uh, 4F black powder, the same on this side here. Uh, there's also, so this cartridge will unscrew. In order to do that, I 3D printed this little wrench and so it just goes on here. And I can screw it, get it loose. And now unscrew it 
like this. And then all this comes out in one piece. So, so really there's just these two parts. There's the eBay itself. Now notice with when using threads, you don't have to have a, you know four inches long on each side that eats up all of your space inside the rocket. With just uh, 50 millimeters or two inches of threads, this thing is rock solid. I mean, it's not gonna come apart. Um, and then of course there's a hole here that um, is lined up with one of those screw on off switches located here on the eBay, on the eBay cartridge. Here's a lithium polymer battery. Now I, this is designed with uh, to be totally um, uh, free of getting any possibility of hot gases getting inside the electronics cartridge. There's a gasket, a 3D printed gasket here. So it's made out of TPU, so it's all nice and flexible. So that's, that's the gasket on this end here, and then there's an O-ring on this end here that makes it gas tight. And so uh, then there's the uh, altimeter here, which is a RCC2 plus altimeter. Uh, and set up for dual deployment. So you got one side is the drogue and the other side is the main. Now you notice on this eBay and in the system, there's no wires hanging out. There's no wires coming out here uh, to screw terminals. We have to screw in wires for your igniters and everything. All that goes away in this design here. Not, there's no wiring going out there because all the wiring is, is done in here. Uh, so the, the wiring goes to the igniters, go, goes on, the, on here, and that gives you a nice cartridge. You can preload this with igniters and then uh, uh, load them up when you're out, out the field with the black powder and get it all ready. And then you just screw it in. And now it's screwed in. There you go. Screw it in like that. I gotta cut that part out, I think. Okay. And then I can tighten it down, makes all that nice uh, um, gas safe. And then this end has the O-ring and it's gas safe. And that's all, all it is. There's no, like I said, no wiring, no screw terminals, no nothing on the outside. This cartridge, by the way, also goes into nose cones like this. It's all standardized. Uh, so that I can move these cartridges from one rocket to another. This is for one of my 54 millimeter minimum diameter rockets. So that you can have, accommodate a, a eBay cartridge like that with both altimeter and telemetry transmitter. And then, and then that little rocket's ready to go.